Welcome back, friends. I'm so excited to do this tutorial. Canva has introduced a new app which allows you to modify the perspective of an object. And that's what we're going to do today. I'll show you how this app works uh, for you to be able to use it in your designs. All right, so I've got a brand new page. This is the size of a YouTube thumbnail and it is um, 1280 pixels by 720 pixels. Why do I do this every time I record a video? It's because my ad adult learners want to know what size I am using. It helps them to choose their size as well. So I'm sorry if I'm giving you more information that you really want to, to know. Uh, and if I ramble on, I'm sorry, I apologize. I like for my learners to understand what I'm doing and um, and why. So the other thing too is that I have opened up my YouTube uh, memberships uh, where people have access to certain perks. If you're interested, please press that join button. All levels get to design with me every Tuesday. It's a live session and you get to ask questions and learn tips and tricks. So. Click that join button and um, see if there's a level that is right for you. All right, enough of the talk. Let's get down to business. So I'm going to start off by uh, going into elements and choosing a background. So um, I'm just going to X that off and I'm going to choose this brick background and I'm going to make it my uh, background. So I'm going to set this image. Now what I did there is I right clicked and I went down to set image as background. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. And there's my background right there. Now I'm going to add another page now because I want to, I don't know why it goes up to the top, but anyhow, um, that was a page that I created and this is my new page right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into text. I'm going to add a text box and in here I'm going to type perspective defect and I'm going to change the font to Anton. Anton has become one of my favorite new fonts. It's so simple but elegant at the same time. Um, so here it is and I'm just going to make that a little bit larger like that. Now I'm going to change my background to black. And I'm going to change that text box to white. And here is my design. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to download this image as transparent. And that will leave only the white text box because we need an image in order to use the perspective app. OK, so I'm going to click share. I'm going to download. I'm downloading it as a PNG and transparent and I only want page four. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to deselect all pages. I'll come down here to page four and I'll select page four. OK, and now I'll click download. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go into apps here in the search bar. You're going to search for transform image. And here it is right here. This is what it looks like. So we're going to click on that and you'll have to accept some terms in here. I've already done that, but this is what you get. And so now we have to choose that image that we just downloaded. So I'm going to say choose file. And here is the image right here. And I'm going to say open. Okay. So here it is right here. The background is removed and all that's left is that uh, perspective uh, effect text. So now to use this, you just click in here and move the text around to the position that you want it. So if I click here and I move back, it's going to move that text uh, over. Now you can move it up. Well, that's down actually, or down. So you're going in the opposite directions. 
And if we go to the left, we're actually turning it around. But I'm going to try and position it so that it is following the brick. And if it runs off the edge, you can just zoom out like that. Okay, so let's put this on our page and see what it looks like. Of course, you're, this is going to um, be a little bit of trial and error. Um, so but what you want is for the effect to uh, match the uh, direction of whether you've got a sign or you have something like I do, a background that, that is a brick. And don't forget that we can also use the rotate button to help us out. So, but I'm not really entirely happy with this. Um, I'm going to try and just move it down uh, a little bit. Like that. Okay, so I'll get rid of that. And let's try again. Okay, so I'm going to try one more time. Okay, so I think I'll leave that one. I'm going to get rid of that one. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just, I'm going to, now the other thing that you can do is you can definitely crop the sides so you're not dealing with such a large uh, image. Like this. And we can bring that back up like that. And we can make it bigger like this. And if we need to, you can also just rotate it a little bit like that. So let me zoom out just a, a little bit so you can see what that looks like. So what do you think, guys? What do you think of this perspective app? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to check out my memberships. All right. So that's it, folks. Um, for now, I'll say bye-bye. Until next time.